Hi everyone, it's Danny with On Grey Matters, and I'm here today just to do a quick tutorial on how I changed the cover inside my Jibun Techo. Um, so this is the original Jibun Techo, it's not the biz, um, but I do like to keep changing the cover because I feel like I get bored. I got mine in white, and so what I do is I just change the slip inside. And all you're going to need for this is a pair of scissors and a piece, a piece of 12 by 12 scrap paper and of course your Jibun Techo cover. So the first thing I'm going to do actually is I'm just going to take the original cover off over here. So I usually take the books on the side out first. So we're going to just flip this out and then I'll go back and take my life book out. And then after that, I'll set them aside. And then after that, I just bend this back like so and slip out my cover, my planner cover. So sometimes it usually goes smoother than this. There we go. So this is actually what the Jibun Techo looks like without the cover slip and by itself. It's actually a pretty thin book. I honestly wouldn't mind using this on its own, but I like it in a cover because it's protected. So I'm gonna set that aside. Then we're left with the cover slip, which is this, and that paper in there is basically the design. So what I do is I just take this out, and this is what it originally looks comes with. It's just this white, thick kind of paper cover. And this is the cover that I've had in it for the last couple of months. It's also just scrap paper. So what I'm going to do now is using this as a template, I take my new design and I kind of want to decide like in which direction I want to go in. I think I'm going to go this way. So I'm going to use my old paper as a template and kind of mark the edges to cut um, my new template. So hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to match up the edges and score around it. Just gonna grab this. So I'm just gonna score from here to here and then from down here to up here. Okay. So that'll leave me with like a marking of how big this was. Set that aside. And we're just gonna cut this out then. So Basically, I just look for the line that I made with my pencil. And I just keep cutting across. I suck at cutting straight, so sometimes this is a struggle for me, but I do the best that I can. And then we cut going down. Trying to get it as perfect as possible. Okay, so then we have what we would consider our brand new cover cut out. So what I do next is I take the original and I put it inside. I don't know why I do this. I think I just like to make sure that it's like the right size. So then I decide like kind of like what direction I'm gonna go in, but I think I'll just keep it this way. I kind of like the purple and the fading at the bottom. And I take my cover, plastic cover, and I'm going to just slip this, slip this cover inside these um, sleeves. So I do one side, and then I bend it back, and I stick the other side in. So it should just slide in like this, perfect. And then I usually just let that pop in on its own. Give it a little wiggle, and I take a look at my handiwork. Pretty cool looking. So then I put in the planner, same way. So I'm just going to slip in one side, and slip in the other. And then finally, I'm just gonna fix this. 
I'm just going to place in my notebooks. So put the life notebook over here. And the idea notebook over here. And then we I kind of bang everything together and shake it all up. And there we have it. A brand new cover for the spring in five minutes or less. So thanks guys for watching. I'll see you next time I'm out of post. Bye!